Hello YouTube, my name is Alex. I'm here to talk to you about the science behind orgone. So, uh, to start off, I'm going to talk about Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla found that when you have a conductor suspended above ground with a large surface area, that it, cr it is impinged upon by ether particles and um, it creates a positive potential in the conductor and if you use the negative potential of the earth then you can use the difference in these two potentials to do work such as turning a motor or charging a battery so it's kinda like the um, a positive and a negative on a battery um, you have to have both of them in order to have a complete circuit and uh, orgone works a little bit differently because it uses um, no ground as a secondary potential it is a freestanding device and the reason for that is because when you have a conductor such as copper and you have it elevated above ground and it's a, of a, surfa a certain surface area then it will carry a certain electrical charge and if the electrical charge has nowhere to go in the conductor it will simply short out and it will form a longitudinal scalar wave uh, which if you are interested in learning about longitudinal scalar waves I recommend you look up Tom Bearden and Nikola Tesla also discovered these waves but when you have a longitudinal scalar wave it can have very beneficial effects on the body and our bodies produce millions of longitudinal scalar waves every day so understanding um, how scalar waves are a fundamental part in life is actually a large part in understanding why orgone is so effective in um, recharging the body's energy. But um, what I'd also like to talk about is how you can make your orgone more effective uh, using these scientific principles that Tesla laid out for us and um, how you can also use make your orgone more effective using different geometries of conductors. Now, um, first I'm going to talk about how to make your orgone more powerful. Um, so the larger the surface area of the conductor, the more electrical potential it will take in. The more electrical potential that your conductor can take in, the more scalar waves you can produce. Long story short, you'll have more energy in your orgone if you have smaller pieces of a conductor separated by natural dielectrics. By natural dielectric, I mean anything that is produced or naturally available on the earth, such as mica is a good con uh, dielectric and uh, wood is a good dielectric. So I use copper and paper and this works relatively well. The smaller the piece of copper, the more surface area is exposed to the dielectric, the more potential per meter of conductor you can have. So you want to chop down your conductors to small as possible and um, you want to separate them by dielectrics and then you have the largest field potential you can. Now in order to raise this field potential even further, you need to uh, increase the distance between your orgone and the earth because the earth uh, acts as kind of a no point for electrical potential. The higher you get above the earth, meaning the actual ground below your feet, uh, the higher the electrical potential the conductor can be charged to. When you have orgone on an airplane, it is charged to a maximum effect because that's about as high altitude as we can get away from the ground and uh, it'll have its largest field then because the most electrical potential is being dumped into your conductors. So now onto the geometry of the conductors. Uh, when these scalar waves are produced and it is shorted out in your conductor, the geometry of the conductor that it is shorted in uh, defines the type of scalar wave produced. Now there are dozens of types of scalar waves that we have proved that are in existence now, such as standing columnar waves, um, left and right polarized circular waves, and um, a variety of other uh, longitudinal type waves, and these are all defined by the conductors that produce them. In other words, uh, if you have a square piece of copper and uh, on top of that you have a piece of paper and then you have a triangle piece of conductor and you put that on top, then this orgone will create different uh, scalar waves between the two of them because the geometries are different and when the electrical potential collapses on itself inside of the conductor in order to make these longitudinal waves um, it does so in, uh, in a way that uses the entire surface area of the conductor as an antenna. Uh, 